Hello, this is Gringo once again, and today I'm going to be talking about something that I've put together, and it's a potato pomegranate ice cube rejuvenator for your skin. And most of all, I'll be working under with for the puffiness under your eyes, the bags under your eyes, tightening the skin. Uh, a lot of good qualities in what I've got here. Now, what we use, we have everyone has this in their home, a potato. And, you know, some of the benefits, I'll be going through some of the benefits of what I have here. I have the potato, a lemon, pomegranate seeds, and just a little bit of water, and that's all you really need. And let's go through the, let's go through the, the potato. The uh, benefits of potato for your skin is it reduces blemishes, reduces sunburn sting, it works on getting rid of wrinkles, it uh, removes dark circles around the eyes, helps reduce under the eye bags, and it lightens and clears the skin. It contains vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. And it's great for eczema and sensitive skin. Now let's go on over to the pomegranate. There, the pomegranate is packed with antioxidants, minerals, fiber, vitamins A, C, and E, and folic acid. It helps cellular regeneration, therefore it keeps the wrinkles and sagging skin at bay. And it's, it has a rich form of vitamin C, which treats dull and dry skin. And then the lemon, lastly the lemon, it uh, helps to motivate your pores uh, to close and your face to tighten and resulting in smoother skin. It has an antiseptic quality which uh, helps exfoliate dead cells and uh, it fights, and actually you could actually use that for, to fight dandruff. It also said it's very successful in fighting dandruff. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take that potato and we're going to have to get the peelings off of it. And uh, so let's go ahead. Everybody should have potatoes at home. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I didn't, until I started reading about it, I didn't really know the excellent qualities that it has for your skin. So let's peel this up and uh, then I'll show you here. It's going to be, this shouldn't take but maybe 10 to 15 minutes to prepare. And uh, once we get done, we're going to put it on the skin and uh, then maybe 30 more minutes you can wash it off. And it really, really does uh, some really good work for you. Just cleaning up the potato a little bit more. All right, there we go. Just dry, wa wash it off just a bit. Then I'm going to take this here grater and uh, just start, just start uh, shredding it. All right. You just want to make it back and forth. Just be careful with your fingers. But you got to get this down. You can see the liquid that the potato has. A lot of starch in there. A lot of liquid. And good to use a maybe a medium size. You don't want to get too big of a potato because then you have too much. Uh, you know, you can put it in the refrigerator. If or you can use it a couple times, but you don't want to have too much. So a medium sized potato is, is plenty. Okay, it goes pretty quickly. When you get down there where you're afraid you're going to get your fingers, just stop. You don't have to go all the way. So I'm going to stop right there. Just clean it up a little bit, make sure you get everything off, off the grater. There you go. You got a nice pile of potatoes. Okay. There we go. So now, I'm going to put it in the, uh, the blender slash uh, food processor here. Okay. All right. Let's put that here. So now, let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, potatoes into the uh, food processor. Next thing, I'm going to take the pomegranate, I'm just going to pour them right in there. Okay. And then I've got a lemon. And what I've got here is this little press. That way you can get all of the juice out um, of the lemon. And then the seeds and stuff will be filtered too, so you won't worry about getting seeds in it. There you go. And that gets all the 
all the juice. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish up here. Just add a little bit of water. That's about two two teaspoons maybe. All right. I'm going to put the lid on here and uh, just a few seconds. Turn it into a paste. All right. See how the the color changes, and it, it you know gets a pomegranate, and uh, the color all comes through. All right, now we're going to take it and put it into this cup here. Yeah, all right, there we go. Okay. I'm fill up. I wouldn't really fill them up. I would just put a little bit in each one. Because what's going to happen now, this will have to go to the freezer. Probably four or five hours. And then we'll be able to um, take it out. Then I'll show you how to put it on the skin. Work it around the eyes. And uh, you can do this a couple times a week. Yeah, there's, you know, the rejuvenating the skin. And when a person gets a little bit older, I tell you, you have to do it. You have to reconstruct those cells. And we get <clears throat> we get a lot of sun damage. We live here in Florida, and there's a lot of sun damage. That uh, you know, there's not a damaged skin just from the sun. When we were younger, we tended to be out in the sun all the time. Kids actually went outside and played, but we didn't really pay a lot of attention to sunscreen, and, and nobody really talked about it. But now, this generation's paying the price for that. So, let's go ahead and put this in the uh, freezer. And uh, I'll be right back with the product. All right, we're back. And I let the, uh, I let the uh, product on my face for about a 30 minutes and then washed it off with just regular warm water. And then I patted it on my face dry with a towel. And uh, after that, you have to add, I, I, you know, you really should be doing something like, we put rosehip oil and you got a little bit of any face cream that you decide you might want to use. You, you put that with the rosehip oil, put it in your palm of your hand put it up on your face, but always go up. All right. And then we got some, you know, just some for repairs for underneath the eyes. You just want that skin to be reju rejuvenated. Now, when you go to bed at night, it's all your skin is going to be replenishing itself. So if for those of you out there that are um, 30 years old, uh, you know, at this point in time in your life, you don't have a lot of problems, but I tell you what, it's a good time to get started. Don't wait until you're 50, 60, 70 years old to get started with your skin. Um, it's sort of like when you have a car. You don't wait until it falls apart or the paint chips off before you give it a paint job. All right? So take my advice. This stuff is very, very simple to make. It takes about 20 minutes to make. You put it in your freezer. There's, there's no miracle behind it. There's just your, some good products that have a lot of good qualities to them. So on behalf of Gringo, Gringo in the Kitchen with Zenobia Beckley, uh, thank you for watching the video. We ask that you subscribe, like, and share and uh, that bell, uh, click, uh, click on that bell a couple times if you haven't already done so. And when you, that will help you get uh, announcements uh, you know, across your YouTube that we have new videos coming out. And right now on every Monday, we have Portuguese videos. And on every, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's on every Wednesday we have Portuguese videos. And on every Friday, we have the English versions. And once we're able to get out of the house here because of this corona, uh, we can't get out of the house, but once we're able to get out, we're going to start doing videos on houses uh, for sale. We're going to do a, a few things around uh, Orlando area, and we'll be able to show you a little bit more of what's happening here in our city. So on behalf of us here in Orlando with Gringo in the Kitchen, we thank you. Have a great day.